In the serene village of Okonkwo, there lived a family whose faith in God was as steadfast as the roots of the ancient baobab trees. The Okafor family, though not affluent, were rich in love, integrity, and devotion to their Christian beliefs. It was within this nurturing environment that their daughter, Ada Obi, blossomed into a shining beacon of faith and intellect. From the moment Adaobi took her first breath, her mother, Ifeoma, cradled her in arms of love and whispered prayers of blessings upon her. With each passing day, Ifeoma instilled in her daughter the teachings of the Lord, guiding her tender heart towards the path of righteousness. Together, they would attend every church gathering, singing hymns of praise with voices lifted in unison. Adaobi's love for singing wasn't confined to the church walls. It filled every corner of their humble home. As she swept the compound or ran errands for her mother, her melodious voice would echo through the village, drawing neighbours to pause and listen in awe. But Adaobi was more than just a singer. She was a beacon of academic brilliance. In school, her thirst for knowledge and dedication to her studies propelled her to the forefront of her peers. She effortlessly lifted trophies in various competitions, her intelligence shining brightly like a guiding star. Her exemplary character and academic excellence didn't go unnoticed. Parents in the village would often point to Adaobi as a role model for their children, urging them to emulate her unwavering faith, moral integrity, and intellectual prowess. In the church where Adaobi and her family worshipped, the pastor echoed the teachings of purity and righteousness. He warned against the dangers of premarital sex, urging the youth to preserve their innocence until marriage. However, one Sunday after service, darkness cast its shadow upon Adaobi's life. The pastor summoned her to stay behind, claiming a divine revelation. Bewildered but trusting, Adaobi knelt before him, only to find herself trapped as he shut the church doors. Despite her protests, the pastor violated her innocence, leaving her shattered and silenced by threats. Consumed by guilt and fear, Adaobi bore the burden of her violation alone, her once vibrant spirit now clouded by despair. Weeks passed, and the consequences of that harrowing encounter began to manifest. Adaobi's once radiant demeanor faded, replaced by exhaustion and sickness. Her academic performance suffered as she struggled to cope with the turmoil raging within her. Desperate for guidance, Adaobi reached out to the pastor, only to be met with stern warnings to remain silent. Trapped in a web of fear and shame, she kept her secret hidden, her heart heavy with sorrow. One evening, as Adaobi's condition worsened, her mother's intuition sensed her daughter's suffering. Concerned and determined, Ifeoma insisted on seeking medical help, leading to the shocking revelation of Adaobi's pregnancy. Anger and disbelief gripped the Okafor family, but Adaobi remained silent, her lips sealed by fear of retribution. Unable to bear the weight of her daughter's pain, Ifeoma pleaded with Adaobi to reveal the father's identity, but her daughter's terror held her tongue captive. In the depths of despair, Adaobi clung to the fragments of her faith, praying for deliverance from the darkness that threatened to engulf her. And in the silence of her shattered innocence, she found the strength to endure, trusting in the mercy of a God who will never fail her. Despite her mother's gentle prodding and her father's simmering rage, she remained silent, fearing the wrath of the pastor and the repercussions of her accusation. The weight of her secret pressed upon her soul, threatening to suffocate her hopes and dreams, but Adaobi refused to surrender to despair. With unwavering determination, she sewed a new uniform that accommodated her growing belly and returned to school, determined not to let her dreams slip through her fingers. When confronted by the school authorities, she stood her ground, challenging the double standards that condemned girls for their mistakes while allowing boys to escape unscathed. Her plea for the right to continue her education was met with hesitant approval from the principal, who recognised her courage and resolve. Despite the whispers and judgement that followed her every step, Adaobi persevered, her spirit unbroken by the weight of society's expectations. She poured herself into her studies, fueled by the fire of determination burning within her.
One fateful Sunday, tired of the secrecy and hypocrisy, as weeks stretched into months, a Daobai remained trapped in a prison of silence, her lips sealed by the fear of the pastor's threats and the weight of her shame. Her mother, Ifeoma, watched with a heavy heart as her husband's anger simmered like a volcano on the brink of eruption. She knew she had to find a way to pacify him, to buy Ada Obi more time to find her voice. With each passing day, Ada Obi sank deeper into the abyss of shame and regret. The pastor continued to lead his congregation with an air of righteous authority, his facade undisturbed by the turmoil he had unleashed upon Ada Obi's life. Meanwhile, whispers of Ada Obi's pregnancy spread like wildfire through the village, casting a shadow over her dreams of success. But Adaobi refused to be crushed beneath the weight of society's judgment. With unwavering determination, she stitched a new uniform that accommodated her growing belly and returned to school, her spirit unbroken by the stars and whispers that followed her every step. Adaobi stood her ground, her voice trembling with defiance. Why should a girl's education be halted simply because she got pregnant out of wedlock? She demanded. If a male student impregnates a girl, no one expels or suspends him. Why should the burden fall solely on the shoulders of girls? Her impassioned plea struck a chord with the principal, who recognized the injustice of punishing Adobe for a mistake she alone was forced to bear. With a nod of understanding, he allowed her to continue her education, a beacon of hope amidst the darkness of prejudice and shame. Determined to confront the hypocrisy that had plagued her life, Ada Obi returned to church one Sunday, her heart heavy with the weight of her truth. As the pastor preached on holiness and righteousness, her voice, raw with emotion, shattered the sanctity of the sanctuary. You are a liar, a deceiver, and a hypocrite, she cried out, tears streaming down her cheeks. You stand here condemning the very act you yourself have committed. You are responsible for the life growing within me. The congregation recoiled in disbelief as Adaobi's accusation pierced the veil of their blind faith. Ushers rushed to silence her, dragging her outside to prevent further disruption. Alone on the church steps, Adaobi wept, her heart heavy with the burden of her truth. Her brother approached her, confusion etched on his face. Why are you doing this? he asked. Are you trying to frame the pastor? Adaobi shook her head her voice steadying as she recounted the horrors she had endured. Her brother listened, his eyes widening with each word, before rushing to share her story with the elders of the church. Pastor's fall from grace sent shockwaves through the village, shattering the illusion of his holiness and exposing the truth hidden beneath his facade. Adaobi, vindicated but weary, returned to school with a newfound sense of freedom and purpose. Despite the challenges she faced, Adaobi graduated with flying colors, her determination and resilience shining like a beacon of hope for all who knew her. Today, she stands tall as a medical doctor, her son by her side as a testament to the strength that lies within her. Through the darkness of shame and despair, Adaobi emerged triumphant, a testament to the power of courage, perseverance, and the unwavering belief that no obstacle is too great to overcome.